Hey friends, Ash here with 10 Cents. Hope you're doing really well. Very recently, I filmed a video about 10 fragrances that smell great, they're fresh, they're clean, and they work if you're on a budget. They're not too expensive. Today, we're taking it a step further. We're doing 10 of the best fragrances you can pick up for under $20. Now, that's assuming you're in the US and you're shopping at discounters, at full retail, none of these are gonna be under $20. And I'll leave a link to each one of these in the description. And also, if you're shopping at FragranceNet, use the 35% off code, not the 25% off code. It changes every so often, so just Google it if you don't know what it is. All right, let's jump into it. Let's check these out. I'm gonna start things off with the Nazaro Chrome Fragrance. Chrome United. There are actually a whole bunch of chrome fragrances that you can find right around a $20 range. They're not very expensive unless it's one of the ones that's been discontinued or for some reason is really hard to find. In general though, chrome fragrances, pretty easy to find, pretty affordable. This one's got bergamot, violet leaf, black tea, and musk as some of the notes in the fragrance. Has kind of a metallic feeling when you first spray it on. It's very fresh, clean, it's brisk. Some people might compare it to the smell of shower gel and that's kind of par for the course with chrome fragrances in general. Most of them follow that kind of template. Fresh, clean, brisk. That's what they're going for. It's really easy to wear, very easy to pull off. It's got good performance and the atomizer is actually decent as well. I'll go ahead and waste the spray for you. Yeah, better than you might think. I also do like the packaging on this one. A little bit different looking than a lot of the other Azaro Chrome bottles. This one, obviously more square and heavier. Feels good in the hand. Next up, Versace Blue Jeans. This one you can find all over the place at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross's in the US. And of course, discounters online as well. And it's cheap at every single one of those places. It's got lavender, vanilla, tonka, and citrus as some of the notes in the fragrance. This one has kind of a spicy cola vibe when you first spray it on, so it smells a little bit like a cola, which is actually one of the main things that people pull from this and one of the things that people like most about the fragrance. To me, the bottle is, is kind of tacky. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the look, but over time it's grown on me, so I don't hate it like I used to, and I used to really hate it. It is a fragrance that comes across with a a 90s feel to it, a little bit of a 90s vibe. Still works today though. It's not the type of fragrance that, you know, comes across with the 90s feel and you're like, yeah, I could never wear that. You can still pull this one off. It just has a little bit of that vibe. And to me, that's gonna be the lavender and the tonka. The way that they work together in this is what gives it that, that very slight throwback feel. Now, obviously it makes sense that this would have a 90s feel to it because it came out in the mid 90s, so yeah. It's not really late breaking news or anything. It's just when you smell it, you can you can definitely tell. But still works, still a compliment puller and has a really enticing opening. Blue jeans, solid stuff. This next one was a blind buy and it blew me away. I think the quality on this is great, great for the price. It is Yop Om Ice and I like pretty much everything about this. I like the bottle, I like how it feels in the hand. It's nice and heavy, it looks cool and it smells great. Plum, bergamot, orange blossom and sandalwood, some of the notes in the fragrance. Talk about this every time I bring it up but it's not really an icy fragrance. You see the name, you see the bottle and you think, okay, summertime, you know, 95 degrees out. This is what I'm gonna reach for. Uh, no, it's not, you shouldn't. It's actually a little bit denser than you would think. The plum is one of the main notes in here and the way the plum is used in here is more like you would expect in a fall or wintertime fragrance. Now, it's not super heavy or anything like that. It's just not what you would think of as a, a summertime only type scent. And as it dries down, you've got a good amount of sweetness and some creaminess that comes out as well. Like I said though, for the price, this is great. I didn't expect much when I bought this because I blind bought it because it was so cheap. Then when I got it in, I was kind of blown away really by how good it is versus the price. It's a fragrance you can use nearly year round. I think, you know, in really hot situations, I'd go for something else. Really cold situations, probably go for something else, but a bunch of versatility here. Great fragrance. Up next, one from Ray and Tradition, Insurrection 2 Sport. This is the newest in the Insurrection line, which if you're unaware of these, are clone fragrances. So they are trying to emulate another popular fragrance that's typically much more expensive. The presentation on this is really nice, like all the Insurrection bottles, you know, under 20 bucks, looks good. So what is this a clone of? Well, to me, this is a clone of Aventus Cologne by Creed. 
And that makes some sense because the most popular fragrance in this line is Insurrection 2 Pure, which comes in a white bottle. And that one's solid as well and could easily have made this list. That one is a clone of just normal Aventus. So this, the sport version of Insurrection 2, is just Aventus Cologne. For the price though, that's a surprisingly very good clone of Aventus Cologne, so it's gonna get you a similar feeling, works fantastically in warm weather, and smells much more expensive than what it cost. Up next, Halloween Man. This one is not officially a clone, like this is just a straight up clone of Aventus Cologne. This smells similar to a more expensive fragrance, but it's it's not really a one-to-one -one clone. It's got cinnamon, vanilla, and leather, along with a martini note, and this smells similar to Paco Rabanne's One Million. So this is gonna get you really close to One Million without the One Million price tag. The Halloween Man line has some really solid fragrances in it. Halloween Man X is my favorite. That one is awesome. This one is very good. And then uh, Halloween Man Shot is also solid. And all of those are really affordable. So this one I think is a great pickup for fall and winter time. If you're out clubbing, if you wanna pull attention, check this one out. It is great for that. Up next, Salvatore Ferragamo F Black. It's the Jeremy Fragrance Special. Really inexpensive and a big compliment puller. It's got black pepper, tonka, and lavender as some of the notes in the fragrance. Some people compare this to Lana de Lone from Yves Saint Laurent. So they'll say, oh, this is really close. You know, it's gonna get you a similar smell, similar scent profile but not cost as much. For me personally, it's pretty different from Lana de Lome. I don't smell this and go like, oh yeah, you know, 80%, 90% the same or anything like that. You would use it in a lot of the same places, same situations, and you could maybe argue <laughs> that it's kind of in the same family as Lana de Lome. Uh, for me, I think it's, you know, it's, it's pretty different from Lana Wee but I see where some people are coming from with the comparison. And that's another one that you'll sometimes see pop up at uh, local rack stores. Not always, it's not as common as blue jeans, for example, but that is one that you see from time to time. And I think one of the places F Black really succeeds is for guys who are trying to build up their collection and they want to get a little more variety for their evening fragrances, for their winter fragrances, fall fragrances, stuff like that. It's not gonna break the bank, it's really wearable, people enjoy it, and it's uh, a nice thing to be able to, to add something like this that's well respected, that's been talked about a lot, into your collection for under 20 bucks. So that's where I think that one really shines. Up next, we got a fragrance from Davidoff, Horizon. Now, I could have put cold water in here, and cold water actually would have worked pretty well, so keep that in mind. But we're going with Horizon here. Ginger, rosemary, cedar, and vetiver, some of the notes in the fragrance. It's a very fresh, spicy, woody fragrance. It is extremely easy to pull off. There's nothing in here offensive whatsoever, so that means it's obviously office safe. It's more of a daytime fragrance, more of a spring and fall fragrance, kind of neutral weather. Though I'd say you can wear it in the summer as well, because that fresh spiciness, especially off the top with the ginger, would work well in high heat situations. I just wouldn't spray it on maybe quite as heavily. This one gets overlooked, and uh, people in general seem to just write it off, because it is Davidoff, and Davidoff doesn't have the, the best reputation for coming out with like ultra high quality fragrances, you know, super unique fragrances. That's not really their thing. And this one is, is definitely not super unique, but it is really pleasant. And for the price, it's actually a great buy in my opinion. Like I said at the beginning of the video, most of the time you go under 20 bucks, you are dealing with straight up trash, garbage. <laughs> not always, not always, but a lot of the times you are. So something like this, which is competently put together, that smells nice, smells pleasant, can pull positive attention, and is really just a fresh, spicy, woody fragrance that's extremely easy to pull off, yeah, under 20 bucks, go for it. Let's get into a couple of heavy hitters here. Dracar Noir by Guy La Roche. Yeah, Dracar. Dracar Noir! <laughs> under 20 bucks? All day, every day. I'm just, I just sprayed it on so I could smell it while I'm doing this. <laughs> People legitimately think that I do this as a troll, like bringing up Dracar Noir. <laughs> no, I legitimately really like Dracar Noir. I don't care what anybody thinks. Oak, moss, leather, lavender, fur, citrus, actually all the notes. <laughs> if you look this up, it's got a ton of them. Par for the course for fragrances that came out around this time. How many times can I say par for the course in, in this video? Oh. Dracar Noir is maybe played out, some people would say. You know, it's been worn for decades heavily 
and uh, it doesn't help that some people that wear Dracar Noir think that 15 sprays is going light and going heavy is eye-watering amounts of sprays. That doesn't help, that doesn't help. But the fragrance itself is awesome. There's a reason it's still around, there's a reason it still sells, even if it is under 20 bucks. Yeah, sure, they reformulated it, whatever, who cares? It still smells awesome. Even if you buy a modern bottle, it's still good. It's still Dracar Noir. If you have a vintage bottle, I guess you could flex on people and say, you know, mine smells 10% better. That's cool, that's, that's true, but um, it's gonna cost you a lot more than under 20 bucks. This one obviously gonna appeal more to people that like 80s style fragrances or guys that wore this in the past and wanna relive it or just wear it again. Uh, younger guys, not gonna dig this one so much, but under 20 bucks, man, I'll take 10 bottles. Let's go with another heavy hitter here, Quorum. Yeah. Oak moss, pine, tobacco, and leather, some of the notes in this fragrance. Again, under 20 bucks, no brand new stuff is awesome. Some people will compare it to Polo Green from Ralph Lauren. And it's um, similar style, similar style for sure. So if you want something that's gonna give you a bit of that vibe, but for less, check this one out. And I wanna really quickly bring this one up as well, Quorum Silver. Now it's very different than this one, but also very affordable. This one is mainly ginger and cedar, if you wanna just break it down super simply. So you've got this very bright opening with the ginger, and uh, as it dries down, you get more and more woodiness that comes out. This one was surprisingly good. I picked this up years ago and uh, didn't expect much, really enjoyed it, and still spray it from time to time. This last one is just super obvious, but I gotta do it. Nautica Voyage, the original. Apple, green leaves, lotus, and musk. Some of the notes in this fragrance. This one for a lot of guys is the fragrance that got them started collecting. And that's because it's very affordable. The quality is good for the price that you pay. It's very versatile, people like it, so you can potentially pull compliments from it. There's a lot positive with Nautica Voyage, and not a lot negative. There are many Nautica Voyage flankers at this point. Some are better than others. Most of them are very affordable as well, so you could technically go through and collect all the Nautica Voyage flankers and decide which kind of aquatic you wanna rock for that day. That's something that some people do, just like with uh, CK1 Summer bottles. This one though, if you don't have any Nautica Voyage, is the one to start with, the original. In my opinion, still the best one. It's aquatic, it's green, it's fresh, it's refreshing, and like I said before, it's compliment pulling, believe it or not. Now, not all Nautica fragrances are as good as Voyage. Nautica Blue and the little sail bottle, I despise that fragrance. I know some people out there like it, I hate it. And then I think it's Nautica Classic, which is kind of a teal coloration, also in the sale bottle. Mm. But not a Voyage. That one's solid, under 20 bucks, check it out. And I just got this one in, I'm gonna mention it super quickly, it's Armand Bossi Low Pour Homme. You can get a 50 mil of this, I believe, under 20 bucks. Bergamot, bamboo, and cypress is some of the notes in the fragrance. It's a very fresh, woodsy scent, kind of a fresh, modern, woodsy scent, and the perfumer is actually Francis Kirkjohn. Bottle, kind of love it or hate it, cap looks cheap but the fragrance itself has grown on me a bit. I've worn it uh, only a few times, but for the price, it's pretty good. It's not gonna set the world on fire. It's not super unique, but it is very clean, fresh, easy to wear. There we go. 10 fragrances, technically, I guess 12, ugh, but 10 under 20 bucks that are some of the best ones you can buy at that price. Like I said, links in the description to all of these at discounters, that's where I price them out at. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support, stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.